Hey boys and girls, Andy Rafael from eTechnics.com and today we're going to do a very quick unboxing of the Zotac Sonics 480 gig PCI Express solid state drive. So looking at the front of the box we can see very distinctively that this is Zotac. Just look at the colours, typical bright yellow, bright colours of Zotac. We've got the 480 gig model, PCIe Gen 3 x4 uh, it's an ssd that runs off the pci express end interface essentially uh, it's got a three-year warranty with it and it does give us a little bit of information about the speeds that we should be expecting which is 2600 megabytes a second read speed and 1300 megabytes a second write speed looking at the back of the box we can see a little bit more information as to the main features so it's got 512 megabyte high speed cache ddr3 high speed cache uh, you can maximize the endurance with dynamic wear leveling and it's up to four times the speed of a conventional SATA SSD uh, with the speeds that we already spoke to you about. It is PCI Express Gen 3 uh, X4 add-in card. So generally when you look at a drive like this, it's going to either be a, an NVMe M.2 drive or it's going to be on the PCI Express interface. Just really so that there's no kind of uh, bottleneck from the actual uh, controller itself like you get with a typical SSD when it maxes out about 550 megabytes a second this is going to surpass straight past that Looking, if we open up the box, uh, you can see that this is actually just a sleeve. Uh, on the inside, they do say, thank you for your purchase. Uh, if you like it, please share the love and leave a review of from where you actually bought it. If you don't like it, uh, and if your experience has been less than stellar, let us know, contact us at zotac.com support. Opening up this box, uh, generally speaking, we would find a, a few other sort of bits inside the box which would be a warranty card the brackets but this was a review unit so sometimes they don't actually come included with exactly what they're meant to come included with instead we just get this anti-static bag with the uh, drive inside taking the drive out and you can see uh, as we expressed it's a PCI uh, E card so it has got the full height bracket on there it is meant to come with a smaller bracket, but as I say, review samples that didn't come with it. Um, very nice design with the sort of gunmetal grey colour. This will tie in really nicely with a Zotac graphics card, which have similar kind of back plates to them. I'm guessing that's the whole reason why they've actually gone down this route to sort of go with that colour scheme. Other than that, we've got a blue PCB on the back. It does have Zotac kind of etched into the metal. It looks really, really nice. Other than that, there's not really much else to go through. We have the Zotac logo down in the corner and a few sort of uh, ventilation holes as well, just to kind of aid with its cooling. But generally speaking, an SSD of this kind isn't going to actually sort of generate much heat. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this card. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I wanted to try and make it as short and sweet as possible. I know there really wasn't a lot to go through because this was a review sample and it seems like uh, a lot of the bits were actually left out. But I'm hoping that if you are looking for, you know, a drive of this nature, of this kind, uh, you will consider obviously the Zotac uh, SSD instead. We have actually got a full written review of this, which I will link down in the description below. Uh, but hopefully we're going to be using this for uh, a build that I'm planning to do. Essentially it's going to be the eTechnics render rig. Now that we're recording in high definition or ultra high definition 4K, we need something that's a little bit beefier. And this particular drive is really going to help us along the way. Uh, if you are interested in that, stay tuned because we are going to have a video very, very soon where we're going to be putting that into a system along with a GTX 1080 uh, as well as a MSI uh, X99 uh, godlike carbon motherboard all housed within an in-win S-frame. It's going to be really, really special. It's going to look really great. Um, so please, you know, come back for that. If you did like this video, remember to subscribe, like and tell all your friends about it. Until next time, see you later.